Hey, wait a second. Why are we going this way? Uh, then we gotta follow Slightly and Cubby back over to, uh, the Indian camp. Uh, I don't know what we're doing at the waterfall. But, anyway, I don't mind, you know, coming back here. Let's get some grinding in instead. Hey, everybody, this is Double RPG, and welcome to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the PSP. In today's episode, we are gonna be going over to the Indian camp in Neverland, and we are gonna be getting into a brief rescue mission to save Tinkerbell from Captain Hook's clutches, but uh, we'll see how far along we get with that. So anyway, on with the episode already in progress. So as you can see, we are back over here at the Waterfalls where we are going to be fighting against some Unversed, and we got Stitch as a D-Link right now, so we should be able to... Uh, we should be able to um, get, his, get him up to the max with his uh, D-Link in terms of grinding you know, his character, so, yeah, we should we should be able to see what his finishing command looks like once we got him all the way up to his max, so, let's see how far we get. So, yeah, like I said, we're back here at the waterfall, we're just doing some grinding, so that way we can, um, you know, do what we do best in a Kingdom Hearts game. Grind to our heart's content. And there's that big ape unversed again, who is going to be giving us... Oh! Never mind. Come on. Stop. Stop. Go grab it. There you go. That gave us an attack boost, which will increase our strength. I think it's um, the same as overdrive, but I'm not sure. Uh, well, I think the overdrive is probably... Um, it increases the... Uh, the, uh, re the restoration of your... Uh, of your finishing command uh, overclock gauge or the uh, focus gauge. So, either of them uh, follows towards that aspect. But uh, the attack boost is definitely an attack increaser for sure. Mimics. Sometimes they'll give us better items. But, you won't be able to get everything out of that treasure box in due time, so, uh, well, looks like we can't even get that, uh, get that, that sticker for the sticker book, so we'll go ahead and we'll make our way over back to partway towards the Indian camp, and where we'll see Slightly and Cubby again with Tinkerbell, and that over there is their hideout. And there's Pan once again. Never seen you before. I'm Ventus. Call me Vent. Well, if you say so. Very cunning Disney hero. Attention. Now then, ma'am. I don't suppose you'd want to capture some real pirate treasure. Real pirate treasure? Sure. Well, guess who caught sight of Hook right when he was stashing his treasure? What do you say we sneak in and grab it? Oh, boy! Let's go, let's go! Yeah, we gotta go find the shooting star. In case of those of you who are wondering uh, why we were going that way. But little does she know that uh, going to the Indian camp is only going to lead her into a trap. And we are going to have to save her. But uh, other than that, we will come back and join up with Peter Pan to get the pirate treasure much later. But as of right now, um, we'll go ahead and I think we'll do a little bit of grinding here before we move forward. But I think we'll also be going into the Indian camp for sure afterwards. So, but not the Indian camp, but the hideout. And after we get the hideout looked at, where there is a Moogle shop and a save point and some treasure, then we'll go to the Indian camp for sure. I don't think we use any other deal. No, oh, I mean, uh, shot lock besides Flame Salvo. I don't know why we haven't even used any different shot locks with Vin or Aqua, but I need to try them more. Uh, I think I will, I think I will be going back to playing uh, all the characters' games to make sure that they're completely grinded so that way they can fight against their um, the uh, the strong optional bosses so yeah 
because I really would like to get those extra key blades and see if I can beat it at 100% with everybody. But yeah, there was the save point, there's the Moogle shop. And as with every Moogle shop, we get different items and commands that are much stronger. And uh, there was a Mega Aether and a Fleeting Crystal in those treasure boxes. So let's get over there at the Indian camp where we're going to stop at the pathway to it where we will get another treasure chest, which will contain a, an abounding crystal. And there's a big treasure chest right over there. And that is going to give us the world map of Neverland as Ventus. So let's head right this way. And there is the star that Mickey star left. Shard? The star shard. <laughs> and Tink tried to follow, but... Oh, boy. This cretin again. Let Tinkerbell go. The star shard uh, is in Captain class. Hook's possession? Uh, yeah, you better give that back. You don't even know how to use it. It's not even a shooting star, for crying out loud. It may look like it to your eyes, but it's not actually the real thing. But, yeah, as you can see right now, we are going to be fighting a huge barrage of Unversed once more. And there's the song Rowdy Rumble playing again. Almost sounds identical to its, uh... uh or completely identical to its original, uh, format. From Kingdom Hearts 2, so, yeah... I, I really do like that song, especially when you're fighting against Disney villains of sorts. And there we get Stitch's um, final D-Link star, and that gives us double GP. And by doing so, um, double GP, I think... Uh, what does double GP do again? Does it increase the focus? Uh, I can't even remember. But Or is it double DP for... Uh, Ah, I can't remember. But, uh, anyway, um, once we get Stitch to his max in the, uh, in the uh, finishing command, that will give us the Onahana beat, where we will be pretending that our Keyblade is a ukulele, uh, guitar of some sort. You know, that, the Polynesian, uh, Polynesian guitar or a Hawaiian type of, uh, stringed instrument, you know? Really nice, beautiful, uh, instrument. If, if you ever go to Hawaii, but yeah, but I don't think we are doing anything to hurt the, uh, the what do they call those? Oh, yeah, the uh, Mandragora type of Unversed. Gosh, I really hate those guys. Out of everything in Kingdom Hearts, why did they have to include these suckers? Let's see if we can get the ukulele again and see if we can lay the smack down on them. Mandragora! Okay, get the old, the old Hanabi. We'll do it again. But I don't think we're going to get further in hitting any, any of the others that are just shooting their wind slicers at us. <sighs> Cheap jerks. But yeah, for the old Hanabi uh, finish command, um, just, uh, it's kind of like Guitar Hero. Um, just hit the correct buttons at the right timing on that green bar there to unleash some stronger attacks, and to, you know, make it all the way through. But, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and finish these guys, and I think there's one more round of them, but we'll see. And there's some uh, D-Link crystals, and some money. Yeah, I think there's one more, one more. Yeah, it's the big guys, the big ape kind. And with that red ore around them, they'll charge at you. It's like their own berserk attack. But yeah, in case you are getting low on uh, HP, be sure to use a cure spell or potion, like uh, we we were using Cura, the uh, second level of cure, which gives us a moderate HP uh, restoration. And as soon as we beat this last one, it should be it. Yes, it is, and we finally defeated that huge barrage of Unversed, and we are going to try to make our way back to rescue Tinkerbell from Hook's clutches. I lost them. 
Ah. That tree kind of looks like it's shooting stars. I wonder what stars are. Where light comes from. <laughs> Reminiscent again. Look out below! Peter, help! Tinkerbell's been pixie napped. Then I'm too late. Hook's gonna pay for this. He said to meet him at Mermaid Lagoon. Gotta be an ambush. Huh, that old codfish thinks he's clever. Hey, I'm going too. Well, we have to hurry. Can you keep up? You bet. So yeah, we are going to be helping Peter Pan get uh, Tinkerbell back, which we are going to Mermaid Lagoon right now. Peter which, which by looking at things right now, it looks like it's going to be a trap with cannonballs. Yep. Captain Hook's ship is shooting out cannonballs, and they're going to be aimed right at us. So, if your guess is as good as mine, I think we are going to have to go meet Captain Hook over at uh, Skull Rock. But, there is Tinkerbell. Strange fellow with a funny looking sword? Well, that kind of sounds like uh, Tara has just released Tinkerbell from her trap, or from her prison. So, uh, yeah, she has given us pixie dust so we can get the glide action command. And that command will be very helpful for us to glide over those high parts and to, you know, instead of, you know, having to fall down, we should be able to get past them without any problems so and as you can see right here the glide ability show it it shows us that we have to hold the it's either the square or the circle button it went by so fast but uh, you hold one of those buttons and you should be able to glide in the air for quite some time so yeah it's really nice But yeah, as you can see right now, um, we got some more unversed we need to fight. But these are optional, so you don't have to defeat them if you don't want to. But like I said, do so because just hacking and slashing your enemies is always fun. And uh, I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of that here, but I could be wrong. But let's see if we can try to get Snow White up to her max. Let's see what all she has to offer in terms of her uh, D-Link abilities and what she gives us after grinding. Oh, that gives us the first one. Lucky, and that gives us a gauge boost. I think the gauge boost refers to the uh, gauge for the finishing command, if I'm not mistaken. And there is the glide ability right there. Exactly the same as in Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 and in the first Kingdom Hearts. But um, when you glide uh, in the game you only just glide for a temporary distance. It doesn't give you a permanent glide when you're in Neverland, kind of like Kingdom Hearts 1 did, but and uh, 358 Days Over 2, but uh, yeah, it's still a really good ability to use, but uh, I don't think we're going to be getting any further other than this. So yeah, we're going to be going into Skull Rock, but uh, other than that, I think we are going to be having to wait to fight against Hook until the next episode. So next time on Double RPG, let's play with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the PSP. We are going to make our way to Skull Rock where we're going to fight Hook, and I think we are going to end off um, Neverland and see if we'll get to the Mysterious Tower. Anyway, take care of yourselves, gamers, and I'll see you on the next episode. And if you haven't done so already, go check out my review of the game over at GotGame.com. See you guys then.